Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in chat, LLM Teams, and holy smokes, so they got a big update for you. They have integrated in step-by-step -step reasoning, and not only that, they have it working on all of the state-of-the-art large language models. We're talking about GPT-4 Omni, Claude Sonnet 3.5, Llama 3.1405B, Gemini 1.5 Pro, etc., etc. One of the big things this helps deal with is the problem of hallucinations. This is a big issue in the AI industry and specifically with large language models, and all of them do it. And what I mean by hallucination is basically when the LLM or the model gives you an incorrect answer and it does it with confidence and you don't know that it's incorrect. And the reason why is you can't check the underlying reasoning. And that's what makes this so great. You can now see exactly how the model came up with its answer and its steps. And this is now integrated and ready to go in chat LLM by default. It's automatically turned on and it is fantastic. The days of copying in a prompt or a question or a problem and hoping you get the right answer, they're pretty much coming to an end. Now, with step-by-step -step reasoning, it brings transparency and it builds trust in that you got the right answer because you see the intermediate steps, the actual reasoning that occurred to come up with the answer or the plan. I'm gonna show this to you in just a few seconds. It's incredible, let's go. All right, to get started, it's very easy. Just head over to Chat LLM Teams. The link is in the description below here and then you'll get a couple options. The one you wanna do if you're new to it is just click on Get Started. Before you click that button though, keep in mind that this is only $10 per user per month. It is half the price of a single Chat GPT-4 license. So for half the price, you get access to all of the state-of-the-art LLMs and all the features and functionality you're gonna see in this video and in my previous videos. I don't know how they do it. It's a steal of a deal, but they do it. So there we go. Click on Get Started. We're gonna load into the back end, and now let's get cooking. All right, once you've logged in, you should see a screen that looks a lot like this. I like to go up here to the top, click on that down little triangle here, and you'll see here, you can select your bot or LLM. Right now, it defaults to GPT for Omni, but if you wanted to use Sonnet 3.5, Llama 3.1405B, Gemini 1.5 Pro, etc., they're all here, and this works with all of them. Fantastic stuff. So here we go. I'm just going to just copy in my prompt here, and here it is. Explore the concept of quantum computing, its potential applications, and the challenges in its development. We'll start off with a real easy question. <laughs> so, and, uh, there you go. I'm just going to hit this little button here. Hit it. Hit enter or just click that button. And watch this here. It says GPT-4 Omni reasoning. And I'll stop it here. Look at this step-by-step -step plan. And then it tells you exactly what it's going to do. It says define the concept of quantum computing. And then it lists and explains potential applications of quantum computing in various fields, etc. And then it has identify and describe the challenges faced in the development and implementation of quantum computing. Perfect. That's a great step-by-step -step plan. It's, num it's got its numbers here, so here's number one, and then it goes into definitions, differences, etc. Number two, potential applications, cryptography, optimization problems, and you'll see here that it's doing exactly what it says it was going to do. And it's just gone ahead and listed out all of these different things, and it gives you a summary. So this is one example. Use a complex prompt, something like this. Go ahead, type it in. You are going to get step-by-step -step reasoning. But that's not all it can do. It can work with coding as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you generally want to start a new chat. So I'm just going to go up here, top left, click on new chat, and then presto. We got ourselves a blank slate. This one, we're going to switch from GPT-4 Omni to Claude Sonnet 3.5. I really enjoy using Sonnet 3.5 for coding. And now let's take a, let's just give a quick example. Create a Python script for an Asteroids game. Something like that. I mean, you can go, of course, go into a lot more detail, but watch this. I'm going to go ahead and click on go. Here we go. Now we're using Claude Sonnet instead of GP4 Omni. Step-by-step -step plan works perfectly. Here's the plan. Set up the game window and basic game loop using a library like Pygame. Create the player's ship with movement and rotation controls. This is telling us step-by-step -step exactly what needs to get done. And better yet, it goes ahead and executes it. How good is that? Here we add in collision detection etc. So there it is. Here's the, here it comes. Here is the first step where it sets the game window and basic game loop. Step two, it creates the player's ship with movement and rotation controls. And on it goes, skip, uh, I guess step three is adding in the ship class with methods for rotation, acceleration, updating position, etc. 
Look at this go. This is awesome. This code adds an asteroid class with methods for updating position and drawing. And on and on it goes. Look at that. And then it gives us the final steps. And there you go. And then it even tells you what the game includes. This is all done. This was literally like five words. Create an asteroids game. And it gave me this. This is how good chat LLM is now. It is absolutely amazing. You got to try it out. It works with codes. It works with complex prompting. Step-by-step -step reasoning and chain of thought is here, guys. And it's worth a look. Thanks for watching.